Hey, it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own peanut butter cups from scratch. The first thing you wanna do is get a muffin tin and fill it up with some standard-sized cupcake liners. Now let's talk about this chocolate. I like to use semi-sweet just because milk is a little bit too sweet for me, but the semi-sweet chocolate definitely has a harder texture. So if you're looking for a softer peanut butter cup, you should probably go with milk chocolate or maybe even white chocolate. There are two basic ways to melt the chocolate. There's what I call the lazy, dangerous way and the safer but more work way. So the lazy, dangerous way is to microwave the chocolate. Basically, you get a heat-proof bowl, throw the chocolate in, and you microwave it in 20-second intervals. And the trick is to pull the chocolate out of the microwave before it's fully melted and let the residual heat in the bowl melt the rest of that chocolate. The danger with microwaving the chocolate is if you over microwave it, it's gonna get all clumpy and ruined and there's basically no way to rescue it. The safer but more work way is to use a double boiler. So you're gonna set a saucepan with an inch of simmering water on the stove and you put the heat proof bowl in it and just let the steam gently melt the chocolate. Whichever way you wanna do, it's completely up to you, but I usually go with the lazy way. Once you've melted your chocolate, you can just portion the chocolate into each cupcake well. And I like to use this little cookie scoop. This is the OXO small cookie scoop, it's number 60. It just makes portioning a lot easier and it makes them all even. You'll notice that when you scoop the chocolate into these cupcake wells, it's gonna be a big mound, it's not gonna be flat. So what you do is you take your cupcake tin and you bang it against the counter a bunch of times. Let's pop this into the freezer for about 15 minutes just to let those layers harden up and then we're gonna add the peanut butter. You wanna start with a half cup of peanut butter. Creamy is traditional, but if you wanna do chunky, that works too. We're gonna to add two tablespoons of room temperature butter. And then we're gonna do one and three quarter ounces of confectioner sugar. If you're measuring, that is a quarter cup plus two tablespoons. But really, you're just sweetening the taste here. If you're doing milk chocolate, you might want to cut back on the sugar a little bit. If you're doing bittersweet chocolate, you might want to add a little bit more. We're just going to whip this all together with a hand mixer. So we're going to take our peanut butter filling and you're going to grab your cookie scoop from earlier and you just put a little scoop right on top of that first chocolate layer. And then we're gonna do what we did earlier. We're gonna bang this against the counter a bunch of times. And if you've got kids, this is the part you wanna let them do. For our final layer of chocolate, we're gonna do it the exact same way we did before. Got my cookie scoop, I'm gonna take some melted chocolate, dollop it right on top of the peanut butter layer. And then again, bang it against the counter a bunch of times. I'm gonna finish getting the chocolate on these peanut butter cups in the freezer, and then I'll be ready to eat. After your peanut butter cups are done freezing, all you have to do is peel back the wrapper and then eat it. I will say that these make a really awesome edible gift. With Christmas coming up, you can buy those Christmassy metal tins and you can get the cute little decorated cupcake liners. You can throw those in there and you have an awesome Christmas gift. You can get the full recipe on my website, 15spatulas.com. I put the exact link in the description below the video. Hope you enjoyed learning how to make these and I'll see you later.